The eighth wonder of the world becomes the eighth wonder on your shelf. Here's your look at the new Foco WWE Under the Giant Bobblehead. Interested in picking up one of these WWE bobbleheads for yourself? Well, you can find your fanhood over at www.foco.com. He's truly a legend. It's nice to see that Foco was able to produce an Andre the Giant bobblehead. And while he may not necessarily be taller than some of the other bobbleheads that we've looked at in the previous reviews, Andre the Giant still is a towering presence. Well, towering exactly by the Ultra Measuretron, the bobblehead stands at around 8.1 inches in height. Switching that over to centimeters, you're looking at a bobblehead that stands 20 and a half or 20.5 centimeters tall. Yes, he may not necessarily tower over some of the other WWE bobbleheads that we had had a look at. Andre the Giant is about the same height as AJ Styles. He's a little bit taller than John Cena, but it's only because John Cena is lunging forward, walking down the rampway. FYI, by the way, a big thank you to the folks over at FOCO who have allowed the opportunity for me to showcase these really cool bobbleheads for you, the viewers. One thing I want to show you before I get to focusing our attention on the eighth wonder of the world is the fact that if you look at the, the display bases, the Titantron display bases, they are identical to one another, but it just goes to show changing out some, some images, changing out some colors, you get yourself a very different overall feel. I guess you could say that Andre the Giant is very close in colors, Titantron colors that is, to the phenomenal one AJ Styles. If you look at them closely, they even shared the same starburst uh, side star colors on the side of the Titantron screen. Whereas AJ Styles had some smaller print, some of which I wasn't able to make out, you can quite clearly make out that it says the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant, on the side of his. The rampways are the same silver colors. You can see the riveted uh, points there on the panels on the sides of the Titantrons. On the front, however, where it says AJ Styles, phenomenal one, this one says Andre the Giant. And a nice little touch, which I hope you guys can see, uh, the Andre the Giant I put in place, obviously, but on the back, you can't see it on this side right here, but there's the classic WW, can't really say WWF because the F isn't there, but it's the classic WW logo, whereas this one had the newest WW, well, we can look at it with the John Cena, it had the newest WWE logo on the top there. Now, for his Titantron, the one side has a not quite familiar sight because generally Andre the Giant really didn't come out to music, nor did he come out to a Titan Tron. But what we've got is the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. It kind of actually looks like the image that they used for the documentary, Andre the Giant. You can see his face there is pr predominantly featured there on the front, and then Andre the Giant is sort of meshed in with that. When we flip it around, however, on the back, we've got a very large hand my hand is a little larger than that, but a large hand of Andre the Giant. And then you've got his name featured in the middle there. I really do like these these display stands, utilizing something a little bit more creative in all honesty uh, than just simply giving them circular bases. This way it makes them feel like they're WWE or WWF superstars walking out from the Titantron to enter into the ring here much like the AJ Styles and the John Cena that are now not present here for this review, Andre the Giant is a handcrafted bobblehead. Uh, what it, that also translates to be is a much heavier uh, material that they would have used. Kind of feels like it's polystone, polyresin that they would have used for this, as opposed to simply just using plastic. We flip it upside down, and just to further add to that point, limited edition, handcrafted, collectible, Andre the Giant, licensed by, uh, I believe it says CMG, CMG Brands LLC, made in China down below. You've also got the FOCO uh, logo, the FOCO name down the side, and you are also treated to four felt feet. Now, I know we've already looked at this with the AJ and with the John Cena, but when you guys get this out of packaging, should you be able to pick this one up for yourself, the Andre the Giant base, well, the body here along with the head, 
uh, is packed separately from the display stand. When you get Andre out of the packaging, it merely involves you to take the, the nut off, take the washer off the bottom of his feet. Once that's off, you slide this part through, this little screw through, just feed that through the hole to the bottom of the vase. Replace then the washer, replace then the nut, and then you're good to go. And Andre isn't gonna be going anywhere. If you're also thinking because it's a handcrafted piece, there could be some chance that the head could break while it's in packaging. Well, one thing that Foco also does too is they give you this neck guard. It tucks underneath, let me just show you right here. It comes packaged tucked underneath in between the head and the neck just to kind of brace everything so you don't have to worry about this you know, moving around while it's in the box and potentially breaking. It's kind of fun for actually it being a WWF superstar or WWE superstar that you could almost even pretend like he's got the neck brace on there. Just a little fun little chuckle that I had when I first saw it. For its likeness, I have to admit, once again, a pretty good likeness for Andre the Giant. It's funny, actually, that when I got it out of the packaging, I thought right there, I don't know if you can see it or not, that I thought that there was a like a like a re residue of paint that had made its way onto its forehead and actually it's just the way the lighting hits i don't know if you can even see it here but it actually looks right there like there's a little bit of a smudge on his forehead i realized later as i tilted the head forward that was gone it disappeared so it's just the the way that the shadowing is cascading onto the forehead coming off from his the top of his head here uh, likeness wise though i must say it does look like andre the giant a very angry or stern Andre. He's in his more classic pose, a pose of which we've seen the giant standing in many a time, a very wide stance, single singlet, and then of course he's got the black singlet, the black boots down below there, even like the laces are nicely sculpted in place. The paint I have to say on all of these pieces has been done really well. In all honesty, when we had a first look at the Foco bobbleheads, uh, a couple of the Justice League ones I thought didn't quite bear enough of a resemblance to the actor, to the character in which they were based from. So far, I've been actually pleasantly pleased with the John Cena and the AJ Styles. And now looking at Andre the Giant, I think it does look like Andre quite a bit. Paint is very clean. Um, it doesn't really have a lot of additional shading to it, relying more solely on one singular color, the flesh tone, and then of course the black in his singlet and his boots. But I have to say, yeah, that's a pretty good likeness though for Andre the Giant. For the bobblehead action to work, what you're essentially looking at here, on the underside of the neck, the very top part of the neck, is a spring. And the spring is glued to the neck, and then it's glued to the inner the inner cavity, so it's basically would be glued like right at the top here on the inside. That allows the bobblehead action to bobble. Now, I would not encourage the idea. Many people like to put bobbleheads, for example, in their cars or places where it's always regularly getting bobbled. I probably wouldn't be doing it for a premium piece like this. For the amount of care, the amount of detail, and the amount of, of paint that they've put into this piece, the last thing you certainly would want to do is, like I said, have this part chipped, have it cracked or damaged in any way, shape, or form. This is sort of something that you can put on your shelf, especially if you're a big WWE fan. Put this on the shelf, and then you can just admire periodically, where periodically you can bobble the head, but you don't want to get overly aggressive with this, even though Andre the Giant would most definitely be overly aggressive with you. Checking out the Andre the Giant has got me rather nostalgic, I must say, for the old days of the WWF, while they still had the F and didn't have to drop it. Uh, the Andre the Giant does look really good, but has got me nostalgic for thinking I would love to see Foco release other bobbleheads of the old classic wrestlers. It's not taking anything necessarily away from John Cena or AJ Styles, two of the other bobbleheads that we had looked at in previous reviews, but there's something charming about the old classic wrestlers in bobblehead form. Of course, the obvious ones would be the likes of Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, maybe even Jake the Snake. Roberts. I think Jake the Snake would be fantastic. One I would really certainly like to see is Macho Man Randy Savage. Maybe even getting a Macho King. Oh boy, now that's taking me down the rabbit hole and there's no turning back. Certainly I hope that the folks over at FOCO are down the road, down the rabbit hole, able to release 
future WWF legends. I'm not going to drop the F. WWF legends, like some of the ones that I've mentioned. If you guys would like to pick these ones up for yourself, let me know down below what other WWF legends would you like to see in bobblehead form. Another cool one would be Million Dollar Man. Ted DiBiase. Either way, though, if you guys are interested in picking up any one of these bobbleheads for yourself, the previously two looked at, or the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant, you can find your fanhood over at foco.com. It's simply a case of going over to www.foco, that's foco, Com, and you can find your fanhood over there. Today we were having a look at the new FOCO WWE. It should really be WWF, but should be WWF, but it's WWE. This was Andre the Giant as a bobblehead. Hey, now, if you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other uh, w, not WWE, but if you want to go back and have a look at some of my other FOCO reviews, had a look at a couple of Justice League figure reviews, also had a look at a Batman, the Dark Knight Returns Batman in bobblehead form. Want to check those out? Just head on over to my FOCO playlist and you should be able to find them in there. Also, just below this video, you'll see a section that says subscribe. If it hasn't been subscribed just yet, and you certainly want to do so, make sure you hit that little button down below that says subscribe. And then that way, when there's new videos coming to this channel, you'll never miss out. Speaking of new videos, we're going to have a whole bunch of new stuff coming soon to this channel, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.